Bugetman and Partners Architects is the largest architectural practice in Africa. Uh, we were founded in 1982 in South Africa. Uh, the way Bugetman and Partners is set up the largest offices in South Africa and then we have a studio in Nairobi. The Bugetman and Partners Architects studio in Nairobi has been in existence for the last seven years. Uh, we actually reference a hashtag 198 which relates to our ranking number one in Africa, number 98 globally. So our model is a very collaborative model. Uh, I mean, when you walk into our reception, you see the, the term, the collective plus. So the way Bugatman and Partners is set up uh, is such that we tap into experience from different offices, different individuals across the entire group that brings out the best of us. Um, I'll just touch on an example. Uh, in the design process, we, we have a very regional approach in terms of how we resolve each uh, design solution. So when a project is set up, the designers might sit in one studio, but this contribution from team members in different studios to then inform the product that you get as a design in the end. So some of the projects that have put Bukhartman and Partners on the map in Africa and globally uh, include one, Soccer City Stadium. Soccer City Stadium hosted the 2010 World Cup Finals, the first World Cup ever held in Africa. So we won this design competition to design a stadium. We presented several options and eventually were selected to design uh, and uh, supervise this project to construction. And then the product is seen in the final uh, of the World Cup 2010 that was held in, the, in that project. In East Africa, we won a design competition for the UAP Tower. UAP Tower is the tallest tower uh, in Nairobi, sitting at 34 floors in Upper Hill. And then in addition, we also ran the Two Rivers Master Plan and Retail Mall, which was just recently completed. Recently, we just completed Deer Park Residential Development, which is definitely the best contemporary residential development in Nairobi. Design for us is a very engaging process and we really stay true to all the stages of a project from concept up until completion of a project on site. So as a firm, we really pay attention to each of the stages because the product that you get at the end on the site has to be informed by all the details that are taken through. At each stage, we really have a lot of tools that one, differentiate us from other people, and then number two, they actually guide us through the process of design. So the very first item we really pay attention to on the design process is the brief. It has to be defined very clearly and both parties, whether it's the design team or whether it's a client, have to align on what the brief and the vision for the project is. The next stage is really in developing the concept and for us Site is a very, very key item. So we spend a lot of time understanding the site. A lot of projects have actually been informed 100% by the site. During the design process, Bugatman and Partners has been using pioneering technology in terms of design, presentation, and implementation. So we're very proud as a practice to be pioneering in that sense. So a lot of the software that you'll see that we use during design, uh, presentations to client, and then even eventually coordination and uh, implementing a project on site is very pioneering technology. Bugatman and Partners is driven by design and innovation. But for us, design is about creating connections to three key items. Places, spaces, and people. I'll start with a project that highlights these three connections to place, space, and people, which is Deer Park Residential Estate in Nairobi. So this project gives the best example of how, when we started the project and in terms of understanding the client's brief, we really paid attention to the place. I've said it so many times that the very first visit to the site, the very first drone footage of Deer Park Residential Estate informed the concept of the project. If you looked at the drone footage of the site the very first time we visited it, Deer Park Residential Estate was donned with so many trees. And for us, 
uh, and for an architect to come into a site like that, it was very exciting to be reviewing the existing trees on the site and then just sit back and let it inform the concept. So the client's brief was that we had to have a very contemporary approach to how we designed on this site. If you see the concept build up to what has currently been completed on site, you'll notice that we paid a lot of attention to how the buildings sit within the existing trees. The other thing to consider in terms of place, and the connection to the place, is current doesn't have access to trunk sewer. So one of the things that was important on this particular site when you're developing 10 houses is to actually create a wastewater treatment plant that again feeds back to the place. When you look at Deer Park Karen, images of the concept builder, the process of selection of materials during design, and the collaboration with the contractor during construction, and the end product gives you a guarantee on those three connections we talked about. Connection to the place, connection to the space, and connection to the people.